Now it's time for you to know about some other more advanced uh, tips when you're using Google Drawing. So when you click on a particular image, uh, know that this uh, you can resize, obviously resize the shape, but this little circle, if I click and I rotate, um, around it will actually rotate that image for that shape or image for you. Uh, some other things if I highlight those two items I could then come in and I think I could do it from here if I right click I could say you know what I want these to be centered and I want them to be centered horizontally so when I do that notice it did shift just a tad bit. Um, I can also say um, let's uh, align vertically on the top and so whatever is highlighted, everything moves up to the top. Or um, if I come in here, I could say, you know what, let's do middle. And so now that moved to the middle of the area that is highlighted. Um, so def you definitely want to use arrangement uh, when you want to, um, let's say you created a lot of letters like this. Uh, let's say I created a C and then let's say I copy it and we'll paste it. And now let's say I have like... Um, We'll do my initial CS. Okay. Now, see how those really aren't aligned perfectly. I could then highlight them, and then I could say, you know what? Let's align this um, horizontally centered. No, didn't want to do that. So we'll do undo uh, vertically. There we go. And so now they are um, lined up perfectly. Uh, here's another tip. Uh, that I learned from a coworker of mine, Donna, Dennis. Um, if I go ahead and let's copy this, and we'll paste a C. I'm going to change this to a black, and so now, and I'm also going to say um, send it back. And so now, if I click and drag this, oh, I can now have a little um, looks like a little 3D actions going on with that particular shape. So just a few other um, tips uh, on how to be a little creative in uh, your Google Drawing.